What's up everyone, welcome back to more Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. So in the last episode, I beat the first dungeon in the game and that was Deep Witch Shrine. I obtained the Earth Element and on our way out of the forest, we ran into someone who gave us the bombs. So uh, that was pretty cool. So in today's episode, I'm going to make my way up to Mount Colonel. Um, I also don't know if you guys noticed this, but I did do some rupee collecting. Like I said, I was. I actually have 100 rupees right now. The reason I did that is because we do need 100 rupees right now. So instead of actually going to look for them right now, um, I have them. So that would save me a lot of time, especially in this episode as I'm recording it. So uh, right now we are in Eastern Hills. There's actually a little cave right here. You can place a bomb and then that thing will uh, explode, of course. And uh, you better watch out because there's actually some spiny beetles that are hidden in lumps of grass. Well, not spiny or just beetles, I don't know, but inside this cave there's item, there's enemies called Keys. Keesies, not sure how it's pronounced, but they're harmless bats, just one slash with the sword can easily kill them. You can get 20 mysterious shells in there, so yeah. Now right here I'm going to go ahead and switch out to my Gust Jar, the reason for that being is because these enemies right here are called pea hats and they're actually really, really bad to kill. Um, the only way you can kill them is by absorbing or destructing that flower-like hat that they have on the top of their heads. So that is something that you need to look out for because if they do hit you, then you are pretty much screwed because you cannot really even de you can't defeat them with your sword alone. You have to actually yeah, mess up their hat. So watch out for these things right here that spit out nuts. Um, if you go right near your house, right at the very back, there's actually going to be a wind crescent thingy. Um, go ahead and blow that up, because that is, like I said, very important. And whenever you see these, just go ahead and blow them up. Because the more that you blow up, the better, and the less time it's... The more time he'll save um, for when you actually need to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and enter here into Hyrule Town, because that is the next place that we need to go here in on our destination. And what is this? Come one, come all, see how many kindstone pieces you can collect. I honestly don't know how that's pronounced, if it's kindstone or kinstone, but I'm going to probably pronounce it kinstone instead. You never know what fusing kinstones will do, but it's sure to do good. Come on up and get your free kinstone back for holding your kinstone pieces. Don't miss out on this incredible once in a lifetime opportunity. Yes, yes, you're here for your free kinstone back, aren't you? That's right, maybe you didn't hear me, but they're free for all kids right now. We got our free kinstone bag, we can carry kinstones now, press start, alright, so, what is next? Fitting two kinstone pieces together is called kinstone fusion. If you get two pieces to fit perfectly, great happiness will come your way. I'll put a kinstone piece in your kinstone bag so you can give it a try. Anyone who's ready and willing to fuse kinstones will look like I do right now. When you see that look in their eyes, that's when you hit L, or press L. And then, okay, did you catch that all? Yes, I did, sir. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and press L. Yes, yes, that's it. Press L. And here it is. We fused a kinstone. That's our very first kinstone that we fused. Congratulations to us. That is awesome. Alright, let's see what kind of magical miracle this thing will do right now. So, it actually looks like it's going somewhere in south of Hyrule. Well, I already know, but this is South Hyrule Field right here. That's actually where our house is. A perfect feed. That means we're both due for a little happiness. See ya. Okay, thank you for the happiness, I guess. So, I'm gonna go ahead and actually see what that is. I already know what it is, and that is something you really should get right off the bat once you get it. Some of the kinstones that, because, you know, there's gonna be parts or times in this game where you're gonna fuse too many kinstone pieces at once, and you're not gonna be able to keep track of where, or, um, where the locations are of whatever it is that's if there is. Um, so you can go ahead and press start and go to your map and then go to like to like South Hyrule right here. You can actually see there's like this little marker thingy on the map and that is where one of the kinstone fusion thingies that we did. So that just goes that just shows you that there's something there and you should actually go check it out. And that is a heart container or a piece of heart. I keep saying heart container. No, it's it's a piece of heart. So that is pretty sweet. This was I think heart piece number five four, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it was number four. Um, no, 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 it was number five. I'm correct. It was number five in this game, so that is awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and head our way back into Hyrule Town. Now, if you guys do remember, at the very beginning of this game, uh, we were actually here in Hyrule Town, but we couldn't do much due to the fact that it was there was a festival going on, and it was just still the beginning of the story, so they weren't going to let you do anything. So right here is actually where we want our teeny tiny shield. You can go ahead and absorb all of that dust right here, so we can leave the spot available for somebody else to come. It looks like there's two spots available right now, so that is uh, sure us to do us good. 
when people actually come to rent this place out. Looks like we've got a bread market, we got a shop. So this is what I wanted you guys to have 100 rupees for. So when you come into the shop, you can go ahead and buy this. This is actually a bigger rupee bag. You can go ahead and buy this for 80 rupees. It's a bigger wallet. You can go ahead and um, buy it, and we will be left with 20. So now we can carry more rupees. Yay for us. Alright, so once you exit the store and you come back in, or just walk back in, there's a new item that will appear, and that is the boomerang. But the thing about this boomerang is, it's worth 300 rupees, so it's a real bargain. Um, the thing is, we don't have 300 rupees, so I'm going to show you how to get 300 rupees right now. And it's actually going to be a pretty fun game. So let's go ahead and just toss that item back and exit from the shop. Alright, so... Now that we left the shop, there's actually this young little girl right here. You're going to talk with her, and she can actually fuse kinstones with us right now, but unfortunately we don't have any. But when you talk with her, she's going to be like, oh no, this is horrible. My cuckoos have gotten out. Can you catch them for me? We're going to be like, I'll help. She's going to please catch two within 25 seconds, please. And you can't go into buildings or leave town. All right, so we're going to catch two cuckoos within 25 seconds. That should not be hard. Right now we got the first one. Here is number two. There's actually three right there, and then there's the fourth one, but you only need to catch two in 25 seconds, so that pretty much goes to show that's like a really easy game. I believe we can do four. Think about these yellow cuckoos, though. They actually jump out of your hand within like five or six seconds, like two, three seconds. So you have to let them go after like a second and a half, maybe, and then just catch them again. So time's up. That's it. Now let's see. Thanks, here's your reward. So she gave us 10 mysterious shells and 80 rupees. Doesn't it feel good to help others? Yes, it does. So you can play this game with her up to three times. Well, you, you should play it with her three times because she will give you a lot of rupees. So she wants three within 25 seconds. Let's go ahead and do that for her. That should not be hard at all. Toss it. That is number two right there. They're actually, most of the cuckoos when you play this game are actually in the same exact spot. Some of them are like a little bit further spread out. So yeah, it looks like we only can catch three right now with the time that we have. So I'm just going to wait here till it's done. If you do catch extra, there's no, she's not going to do anything for that. You, <laughs> It's like pointless. So I don't know. Just don't. If you want to, then yeah, you can go ahead and do that. Thanks. Here's your reward. And she gives us 10 mysterious shells. And... 30 rupees so we got 30 rupees or we got a lot less we got 80 last time we got 30 this time but next time she's gonna give us a lot more rupees so we're gonna play this game another time catch four within 30 seconds you can't go into buildings at all we get the drift young lady so we're gonna toss this number one now these four are actually pretty easy I would say because you can literally catch the first three within like 15 seconds and then you'll have 15 seconds left to be able to catch. You can skip this one because this guy is actually sometimes bad or it's not good. Because like I said, the golden ones or the yellow ones actually tend to leave your hand or escape from your hand within like a second and a half. So you have to toss them and then re-catch them again like I just did. So let's see what our reward is this time. Thanks, here's your reward. We got 20 mysterious shells and 80 rupees, so we're actually close to the 300 rupees. We just need 90 more. Let's go ahead and play this game one more time, and I'm pretty sure we'll have the goal of 300 rupees. So we're going to go ahead and toss you right there. That was number one. We're going to pick you up. And if you play this game like a certain amount of times, at the very last time you play it, she will give you a... Uh, a heart piece and it seems like I kind of failed right there because I'm gonna be missing out on like a second maybe because of that actually I believe I can catch all five right now because we got 15 well okay catch that okay, we just need one more I can do this where are you here you are thank you and I will make it I will make it believe in yourself okay I think that's it I believe that's five yeah it looks like there's five inside the Damn, well, there's actually pretty, there's a lot more, but hopefully we did it. Okay, let's see what it is. Thanks, it's awesome, we did it. So we got 20 mysterious shells and 90 rupees, so that is flat on 300, not, not, not an extra rupee more. So that is pretty awesome. Now we can go ahead and buy this wonderful boomerang. This boomerang is a real bargain at 300 rupees. Will you buy it? Yes, I will. We got the boomerang guy, yo, yo. Well, you are a big spender, aren't you? Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Guy that types on that. 
calculator, I guess, whatever that whatever that thingy is. But yeah, that's pretty much all you can do here in Hyrule Town. Actually, there's one more thing that you could do. You can go ahead and uh, break this Wind Crescent thingy. Go ahead and just shatter that, because there's actually one right there. Um, and if you want, you can actually explore uh, Hyrule Town. But like I said, there's not much you could do right now. I'd recommend exploring it after you beat the second temple. Because we will be doing a lot, thing, a lot of things here, especially in Hyrule Town. A lot more things here, so we'll be like really active here in the town. So let's go ahead and try to exit. But what's this? Just because you have a sword and shield doesn't mean you'll be safe. I can't let you go there alone. Not until you learn some sword techniques. Okay, so he's obviously hinting at us that we need to learn a sword technique. And uh, earlier here, we did actually see a. A swords hut. Well, actually, we didn't see it, but I, I spotted it. It kind of does. This house is like the only one with a unique looking roof. All the other ones have like similar roofs, except for this one. This one does look like it could be like a dojo arena or whatever. So let's go ahead and talk with him. I'm a swift blade, finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. If you train with me, I guarantee you that you will increase your skills dramatically. So, would you like to train here? Please. We shall get started with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. First, press and hold your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Then, release your destructive might. That's all, young swordman. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Haha, very good. You are a very quick student, but one must fear the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. I call this the switch, the swift. Okay, the swift blade switcheroo technique of training. Watch this. Ah, switcheroo. Okay, I accidentally hit the down button on my D-pad, so. Couldn't read it. Phew, now you must try it yourself. Press and hold the swords button, and then release the strength of mind, and that's it. Okay, so we're gonna do that. It's pretty easy. He's pretty much talking about the basic spin attack. So it's, it's not that hard. Yes, yeah, fine work. You are a quick student. I'll give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it in your scroll. Okay, this... You may view this in any time. The quest, okay. You learn the spin attack. Alright, so before we actually leave here, I want to ask you guys a question. Who does this guy look like? Um, he looks like somebody very, very familiar. Especially from Lord of the Rings. That's what I'm going to say. He looks like a dude from Lord of the Rings. So that's the comment question of the day. Who does this guy look like to you? He looks like somebody from Lord of the Rings. So it's obviously somebody from Lord of the Rings. So yeah, just go ahead and guess. Alright. Now that we learned that, let's go ahead and see if that's good enough for that stupid guard. Hopefully it is. <laughs> right, there's a shoe shop, there's actually boot. Actually, there's one of these houses, or these huts, or the houses, thingies, whatever, that I have. Honestly, I have no idea what it does. Because there's, like, nothing really you can do in it. I've never actually been in it, so. A hole, so I've been the spin attack. It's still dangerous, but maybe you can handle it. Well, let's see how you do it. Show me that spin attack. Alright. Looks like he's still mimicking us. Voila. Yeah, that's the one. But there are monsters out there, kid. Just make sure you're careful. I will. Alright, let's see. Mount Colonel. Awesome. Alright. Try by f Highlands. Try by Highlands. Alright. Oh, Trilobi. I, I don't even read the thing. I don't even know what it was. Uh, okay, so... There's actually these, the, the item I just killed is called like Kiaton, um, that enemy, he's called like Kiaton, he walks around with his spear for all of the area, once you def like you can slash him with two hits of your sword, so he shouldn't be that difficult. So I believe, let's read the sign, Boyle Valley, Mount Colonel, alright, sweet. Mount Colonel, alright, ooh, 20 rupees, I just saw that right off the bat, let's go ahead and pick this up. 20 rupees, because that's good for us. No, no, no. Okay, there you go. Now, this is Mount Colonel. It actually has that kind of mountainish music right there. So, there is nothing actually we can climb that. We can't climb that. And right here, we can't even pass. So, let's go ahead and enter into this cave right here. Let's go ahead and use our bombs. That's why it's actually pretty useful that we actually got these bombs. And I love this boomerang now that we have it. Now, I should test it out. Let's hope it actually paralyzes enemies like it did. Ooh. Deku, okay. Deki, Deku, scrub, voila. Okay, you got me. I'll make it up to you by telling you something good. A friend of mine in the cave in the south of Trilaby Highlands has a handy tool. If you want it to climb Mount Colonel, I suggest you buy it from him. So a handy tool, hmm, what could that be? Something that we need to be able to climb mountains with. Okay, let's go ahead and see this. This handy tool of your friends. Let's go. Okay, so 
I'm gonna take this ladder down here. Okay, so there's actually things right here, but you can't do anything to them right now. Um, this is something we'll have or we'll be able to use later on in the game, right after the second dungeon. So don't worry about it. Now it's gonna place a bomb right here, and he's got a friend, so it's gonna be obviously a Deku scrub. I'm gonna prepare my shield and uh, wow. Okay. Okay, you got me. Let me make it up to you. You can have this most deluxe of all battles for only 20 rupees. So what do you say, huh? Okay, I'll buy it. I mean, that's... Oh, okay, I get it now. That's why they actually put that 20 rupees right there, like, on Mount Colonel, so you can actually have the money to buy it. Because you would predict that, oh, you have... Like, I mean, honestly, you played the Cuckoo game so many times, you probably won't be able to play it again because they will probably be so far out and you'll need the Pegasus shoes. So... They put 20 rupees there because they probably predict that you'd buy the boomerang, and that's clever. Okay, I don't even know if you guys understood what I'm saying, but yeah, that's like what it is. So we put water in our bottle. I'm gonna place it right there, and oh my god, look at that, and the thing is growing right now. Okay, so yeah, that pretty much does it for an episode. Thank you guys all for watching. In the next episode, I will make it up all the way to the very tip top of Mount Colonel. Let's actually take a look how it is so this is actually mount colonel base so there's still at the tip top of it there's actually still that whole other part of that map that we still need to see and that would probably be the mountain here we are it doesn't look like it's going to be difficult or anything like that so that is it thank you guys all for watching and i will see you guys next time for more legend of zelda the minish cat